and we'll be covering the absolute basics of Blender and 3D modeling. There's multiple videos on YouTube that already cover that topic. I will link to some videos in the description. My general advice is to always be organized. Name your meshes appropriately, so it's easier to find and make adjustments in the future if necessary. Select your mesh and press F2 to rename them. When possible, merge as much of your gun's non-moving parts together. Uni requires less processing power to render a few weapon models than multiple smaller parts. If you want Blender's view to focus on a specific model, press the tilde key on your keyboard and select View Selected. If you don't want to make your own weapon model, you can use a weapon model made by someone else and turn it into a weapon mod if you have the maker's permission. Here are some websites you can check out. Sketchfab. Tons of downloadable weapon models can be found here. Some prominent free weapon model creators are Tasty Tony, Not Corporal Carey, and Samantha C. Ford. Itch.io also has many weapon models, and you can filter to only find the free downloads. Open Game Art. Every asset in Open Game Art is free to download, and you can find weapons that are more unique there. Lastly, the Unity Asset Store. You can easily find free weapon models to use, and lots of variety. Remember to credit asset authors if you use their work. Once you've downloaded a weapon model, you can import it into Blender and start examining it. Check the 3D format the weapon was exported in. In Blender, import the model according to that file format. You will want to see if your weapon uses bones or if it's separated into multiple meshes. It's possible to use bone rigged weapons for RF weapon modding, but the vanilla guns use separated meshes, so that's the method I'll be covering. To tell the difference between separate meshes and a rigged weapon, check the icon of your weapon model. Rigged weapons will have a humanoid icon, while mesh separated weapon models will not. If you want to convert a rigged weapon into separate meshes, here's how. Select your weapon model and go to the Modifiers tab. Apply the Armature modifier. Press the Object Data Properties tab. Go into Edit Mode. Press Alt Z for X-ray mode. Deselect any vertices or faces. Go into the Vertex Groups list. For every part of the model you want to move independently of the weapon body, you will have to make it a separate mesh. Choose the part of the model you want to separate. Press Select then press P and choose Separate by Selection. If done properly, you should now have removed a part of the model into a separate mesh. Continue this process for everything you want to be moving independently. In this example, I'm separating the magazine, bolts, and charging handle. Now you should rename your models to keep your work organized. Select your model and press F2 to rename it. It's also a good time to set the origin, the orange dot, of each model. Think of the origin as the model's pivot point. You can right-click and assign the origin based on surface volume or area. You can also manually assign the origin. I recommend making your gun body's origin at the handle. It looks the most natural when animating. In edit mode, select two sides of the handle, press F3 to bring up the search menu, and type Cursor Select, and choose Cursor to Selected. This will move the 3D cursor to the average location of where you selected the faces. Go back to object mode and right-click Assign Origin to 3D Cursor. The weapon body's origin will now be at the handle. To make the separate models move with the gun body, you'll need to parent the models. Here, I want the bolt to move when the charging handle is moved. I hold Shift and drag the bolt over the charging handle. Now that the charging handle is the parent of the bolt, the bolt will move whenever the charging handle moves. I repeat this process to make the rest of the models move along with the weapon body.